I'm his father. He comes to me for advices. So it's not that hard for me to give him the wrong advices. What's up guys, Derek, moreplaysmoreandates.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about genetic response again and revisiting the Arnold Schwarzenegger example because there was a lot of comments in the comment section about looking at not Patrick, but his other son, Joseph, who seems to be a lot more um, motivated by bodybuilding, somebody who is actually trying to pursue it as some sort of a, um, not necessarily career, but you know, somebody who actually gives a shit about you know, potentially stepping on stage and you know, developing a physique like Arnold, whereas you know, Patrick seems more of like a recreational lifter, I guess, whereas you know, Joseph not only it takes it a little bit more seriously maybe, but in addition to that, looks a lot more similar, at least, you know, in the face and in the structure a little bit than um, to Arnold. So, you know, obviously, expectedly, they both share the same genetics from Arnold, but, you know, luck of the draw sometimes in terms of, you know, sometimes you could have fucking siblings who look, even twins, you know, who one is like far superior genetically than the other, even though they're, you know, twins, technically. Like, I've had... Some of my, uh, two of my close friends from childhood, they were twins and um, one of them clearly blew the other one out of the water in terms of body composition. Now it wasn't, okay, maybe not blew out of the water, but it was, one was definitively much better than the other. So anyways, with, uh, you know, two half brothers, I guess, you can expect that they're going to be quite different in terms of how they reflect the genes of Arnold, you know, coupled with their specific individual, you know, they each have a different mom. So with Joseph, his obviously his face looks a lot more similar to Arnold too, but in addition to that, his actual structure, here he is training at Gold's Gym um, with Arnold on Arnold's uh, Instagram. And, um, you know, it looks like a striking, um, what is it, uh, spitting image of uh, young Arnold, or at least much closer than Patrick does. And um, I guess there's, he's been more in the spotlight for his... Uh, you know, Arnold-esque physique. And there was this uh, access video that was made about... Uh, Joseph Baina's fitness game isn't slowing down anytime soon. Arnold Schwarzenegger's 23-year-old son flaunted his insane muscles once again as he... His insane muscles. It's like <laughs> the access... I don't know, these people, their description is shit. He rocked a tiny black Speedo during a workout at the pool. The six foot one aspiring bodybuilder captioned the photo on Instagram, gotta get the tan lines back. Joseph, who continues to follow in his father's footsteps, frequently documents his intent. Okay, I'm gonna mute it because they're probably gonna just copyright me and her commentary isn't that useful, to be honest. Um, here he is doing some upright rows and he definitely does, uh, look structurally similar. I can definitely uh, see the chest in there for sure. And he looks great. Don't get me wrong. But what I speculate is, uh, what's, what the fuck is going on here, dude? Jesus Christ. I am, I guess done with that video. doesn't seem like there's much left. Go, to, go to his Instagram. So here we are, Joseph Bania's Instagram and, um, you know, from what I can tell, I would speculate the guy is natural. You know, he's in his early 20s still, and um, he has not had a drastic shift in his body composition whatsoever. He's had very natural looking progression. And uh, I would say this is reflective of mostly where his genetics are gonna take him, to be honest, which is interesting considering he is literally the offspring of goddamn Arnold Schwarzenegger. You would think the guy who is the top, you know, one of the best Mr. Olympias of all time, or at least, you know, at that, in that era, for sure, obviously, he was, you know, the top bodybuilder in the world, you would think he would produce a child who's actually bodybuilding full-time who would look, you know, similar. So again, this is not to knock his physique, his physique looks great, but proportionally, again, genetic response to drugs. This guy can literally adhere to a strict diet, you know, training regimen, etc. He has access to the fucking best gym in the world, I guess, even during this time, he looks like he's in Gold's Gym here. He can train with Arnold and get all of the expertise he wants and get all the, uh, what's, the, what's the thing that Arnold says? He's like, uh, give, no, nah. he says this one thing. It's like, give, uh, give all the secrets or something. And he says it in like a funny fucking way. I'm his father. 
he comes to me for advices. So it's not that hard for me to give him the wrong advices. Anyways, I forget what the what the joke is from, but it's from Pumping Iron. So, anyways, he uh like looks like a great natural physique. You know, he's like athletic looking, but no one would see this and be like, oh my god, like this guy is clearly like Arnold caliber shit right here. No, again, it comes down to genetic response. How many naturals do you know in the fitness industry? Obviously, you can't definitively say who's natural. We can go back to the same examples I had in my last video. You know, Lex Little, some other individuals who are guys who are like 18 years old and blow this physique out of the water, to be honest. You know, maybe not actual sheer lean mass amount on their physique, but the actual proportions, the way it looks in pictures, it would just blow it, blow it up on stage. You know, it would blow this guy out of the water. But this guy, how is that possible when he is indeed the offspring of Arnold? Because the drug response element, there is a whole different component that has nothing to do with, well, it has something to do with, but it's totally irrelevant to your base natural foundation is one thing, but your actual fucking androgen receptor activation from taking synthetic drugs in your goddamn ass or through your gullet, totally different side of the equation when it comes to genetics. And in addition to that, organ, organ, I, I can't even think of the fucking word, the ability to withstand stress of your organs for a long duration of time. Another aspect of genetics that's commonly overlooked. Like here we look at, again, not to knock this guy's physique at all. Here he is doing a vacuum and it looks good. The guy looks fucking good, dude. Here he is doing a, literally a classic Arnold pose. Goes for the, uh, it looks like it was near the end. He hits a side chest here. It's a side, uh, whatever this pose is called, it's clearly a classic Arnold one, hitting some good golden era shots, getting the good twist in, and boom, hits the fucking back shot right there. So obviously, you know, a physique that's like what, like top, you know, one to 5% among naturals in your gym or something like that, but nothing that is going to fucking turn heads like a goddamn Mr. Olympia caliber physique, but we don't know what his response to drugs is. Did he get it from his mom? Did he get it from his dad? We don't really know. Is this guy natural? He's hanging out with a lot of saucy motherfuckers, and yet he still looks very natural. You would not think these two guys, just random fucking guys, are beating the son of goddamn Arnold, but yet they are. What's the fucking difference? Drugs. So for me, like this is just a great example of expectations and uh, being realistic with shit, because at the end of the day, Unfortunately, the make or break in determining, you know, some guys like how far they're going to get, like obviously, you know, drugs are going to take you much further as a, than a natural guy. That's just how it fucking works. But even in the context of how far the drugs are going to take you, it's also going to be based on your own genetic response to this stuff. Like this guy, I can only speculate that if he took drugs, he'd blow up, you know, similarly to Arnold, just based on the fact that he has the same genetics. But you never know. You could have a guy who takes, like there would be so many guys who look exactly like this as a natural, if not better, who take drugs but will not even get one-tenth of the progress that Arnold did simply because of their own genetic response. Even though at baseline, they could look significantly better than this guy because it's not like this is anything crazy special, you know? This does not look like a physique that would win a natural show anywhere, to be honest. Like I don't even think this would win a men's physique show even if it was a naturally tested one, I don't think he would win a natural like anything, to be honest. And that's not to knock anything. It's more to really own in on the fact that natural fucking foundation body composition is totally different than the genetic response component of drugs. Now, not entirely different. They're not totally segregated from each other, but you will often find individuals who end up hyper responding to gear aren't necessarily the same guys who at baseline had the best physiques. You know, sometimes you'll have guys with the best physiques that respond like shit to drugs and they end up in, you know, men's physique at best, you know? Those are the kind of guys who end up on the men's physique Olympia stage who have like the fucking sickest genetics ever but just don't respond that well to drugs. And you have guys who have even average genetics looking. They don't look actually that, you know, crazy but then they just explode like motherfuckers when they take gear. So it's kind of a luck of the draw, dude. It's kind of rolling the dice when you're born. You can't really do a whole lot about it. But in general, something we do see like fairly often is the sons of bodybuilders seem to actually get that hyper response from their dads, it seems. Here's a good example is Sergio Olivia Jr. You know, his dad, did he end up smaller than his dad? No, I would say they have the same hyper response drug genetics. You know, we have uh, Hunter Labrada, you know, Lee Labrada's kid 
did he end up with hyper-responder genetics too? Yeah, he did. So it definitely seems like, at least anecdotally, it often does pass through to the sons, you know, or at least in some of the cases with some of the bodybuilders who followed in their parents' footsteps. So for Joseph, when he wants to really step on the gas, we're going to fucking know <laughs> if it's if he ha indeed shares that same genetic trait, which seems like there could be a high, there's obviously a higher likelihood that he would than any other fucking person in the gym that you see randomly. So if this guy's going to explode, you know, it remains to be seen. Like if he hopped on the Diana ball, a fucking Prima bowl on a treadmill, we will see what happens. But um, I guess that remains to be seen if the guy wants to really push it to the limit or not. But right now he seems like he's having a good time just staying natural and enjoying training. But um, if he ever wants to be competitive, you can imagine he's going to be deploying the same kind of shit that Arnold did. And interestingly enough, the same fucking tangent from last time, he's probably going to use the, same, the exact same drugs that Arnold did, which is the fucked up thing. Like 50 years later or whatever, the guy's going to expose himself to the exact same primitive fucking anabolic agents that Arnold used back in the 70s, which is just crazy that we are so underdeveloped in our pharmacology that we're still exposing ourselves to the same shit from 50 years ago. Like, what class of drugs are we using the same drugs from 50 years ago? Like, maybe, I don't know, when did, when was metformin designed? I guess maybe that might be an example of one. But, like, so, so many different classes of medications are, like, continuously advancing. But for anabolics, it's just sad because we're just stuck with the same, like, literally, like, the first fucking steroid ever, like, developed to replace testosterone, essentially. Orally active fucking Dianabol. Maybe not the first, but it's like pretty fucking close to one of the first ever developed, if not the first. And we're still stuck using it as a, you know, an alternative test base. Like this is the kind of shit that we're exposing ourselves to. And it's just sad. <laughs> it's just sad, dude. It's unfortunate. But anyways, total side tangent, just an annoyance that uh, I have personally. And I'm sure many of you share the same thing. But um, it remains to be seen. I thought it was good to uh, evaluate Joseph Bania because a lot of you guys said this is a better example than Patrick. And I definitely agree. This guy is uh, literally looks like Arnold. You know, I can't imagine that, uh, you know, and the guy seems to actually care about bodybuilding enough to like half his fucking page is like bodybuilding stuff. So obviously he's a bit more passionate about it than uh, Patrick. And um, it will be interesting to see if he follows in his father's, follows in his father's, what the fuck am I saying? Follows in his father's footsteps. That was hard to say for some reason. In my, in my head, I couldn't compute if I fucking said it correctly the first two times. So anyways, let's see if he hops on the bandwagon. But for now, it looks like uh, he's just chilling as a natty. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are there any examples of, uh, I don't know, like sons of like top IFBB pros who didn't inherit the hyper responder genetics when they actually tried to compete and they ended up, you know, with subpar physiques or are there more examples and you see more and more cases anecdotally of uh, guys responding just like their dads? Because again, this is a genetic element thing. Not everyone's going to be a 250 lean plus guy on gear. Like it just, you know, doesn't happen very often or else you wouldn't, every guy on gear would be so obvious they're on gear. And yet you see guys at your gym, you'd be like, wow, that guy took fucking trend. And you'd have no idea because the majority of guys on gear, frankly, don't really look like shit. So it's a huge genetic component and element that comes along with uh, your genetic inheritance. And it's uh, interesting to see how the, uh, you know, the bloodlines continue among those who are still passionate about following in their father's footsteps. So let me know what you think in the comments down below if you have any other examples. Uh, maybe we can look at more or I can just dig into it from my own curiosity and whatnot. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my blog. MorePlaysMoreDates.com, follow me on Instagram, and MorePlaysMoreDates, Facebook, Snapchat, BitChute, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. My TRT clinic, it's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. My recommended lab tests and diagnostics through my clinic, um, interpreted by high quality professionals who understand their shit um, and are vetted by me personally to actually provide high quality medical oversight. Um, and in addition to that, anything else I'm associated with, Gorilla Mind, Nootropic Formulas, Gorilla Mode, Pre-Workout Formulas that design myself from scratch, and my recommended diet model for newbies to follow for mi micro and macro nutrient intake and whatnot. Most people just know how to prescribe macros and protein intake and calories, but not many people understand how to create a high quality, well-rounded diet model that is tailored not just to performance and muscle growth, but in addition to gut health. Um, factory and sleep hygiene practices and shit like that. It is a turnkey diet that makes it idiot proof to follow a high quality diet model and gain maximum strength and muscle. I recommend you check that out if you're interested and anything else I'm associated with, it's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.